welcome back to a new video. On this one we will be trying to take down all of the top scores with the least popular Pentium E2000 series CP to E2210. Currently running W Prime 32, 16.483 is the top score by Whitex, Whitex from China, that's 16.25. Let's hope it doesn't crash. CPU likes to be so 1625, that's like 200 and something milliseconds faster than the previous top score and at the same frequency. Okay, this should be somewhat doable. But it's gonna take a while, nine minutes or so. And okay, that's the 1024M, around 40 second improvement over the previous top score made by Sparky 24-7 from the USA, I think, at 566 point something, at 4.4, but Windows 7, so pretty nice. So this is the first sub 9 minute run with the E2210 in 1024M. So I think now I'll move on to single thread stuff. The system is the same as always. The new Rampage Extreme Corsi Dominator TDX2 Kimpin Cooling F1 Dark now using the KPX thermal paste from Vince Lucido himself. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Let's try now. Twenty two point five fifty by Witix, Whitex from China. Four seven, same frequency you could say. Let's run one M. Twelve point something is the top score in one M. 12.563 I think it will be 12.3 12.2 That's the new 1M top score, 12.312, so 240 milliseconds, you could say, better than the previous top score. I think it's Whitex once again. Next one will be 32M from our good friend Zombie from Kazakhstan. Validation will be hard, of course, but I'll try my best. Pretty much spot on, almost half a minute improvement over the previous top score. So 10 minutes 24.938 and previous top score by Zombie 568 at 10 minutes 54.109. I think he was at 4.4 something, this is at 4.515. Same frequency as Witix or Whitex from China. So now only missing the validation, but that will be turf because it's made at like 
430, 430 FSP, probably out of reach. Let's see what happens. Okay, that should be the rank two. So 4.6. But yeah, probably out of reach, the top one. At least I cannot post and boot very high, which is very annoying. Four six four six. Target is four seven eight. Yeah, that's not looking good. And okay, I cannot get the highest validation no matter what I try. The CPU that Sparky from the guy from USA who has the highest validation, his CPU is just absolutely phenomenal considering he was only running uh, single stage cooling. Well, the FSP is not like phenomenally strong for single stage, only 435. For some reason, these CPUs, they just seem to be so bad on the FSP compared to the other uh, CPU models of the E2000 series Pentiums. So I only got the rank 2 validation at 4.646. That can do. I'm not too... The validations, like I've said many times before, they are not my number one priority. Of course, it's always fun to get them, but it's not my main subject. I'm more interested in the actual performance tests. But uh, other than that, yeah, W Prime 32, we got 16.14, so a pretty nice 300 and something milliseconds faster than the previous top score. 1024 M, I think it was 40 seconds faster than the previous rank one score. Pi fast, I think we got 22.46. I actually didn't try to run it after getting that uh, score and 1m we got 12.312 i think 200 and something milliseconds faster than the previous rank one score and 32m we got around half a minute improvement uh, over the previous rank one score made by zombie 568 from kazakhstan so yeah so only missing validation but otherwise i can i we could say we got this cpu added to my result, uh, result library as well so pretty decent but again it's not very popular cpu it's the least popular of all of the 2000 series pentiums but all of the top scores are already uploaded to hardwarebot.org at the time you are watching this video so please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel maybe check out my patreon page as well if you want to support my work and yeah thanks for watching some of my videos once again and i will see you on the next one